Hey guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're taking a look at the Chuddington All Aboard Starter Set from the Motorized series. Now, this is an interesting item, and honestly, I never thought I would be reviewing a Chuddington item, but I couldn't resist when I saw this at my local Barnes & Noble. It was sitting on the shelf, it was last one, and it really intrigued me, because again, I've never really reviewed a Chuggington item before. Here with the packaging, it looks basically like you'd expect a Chuggington item to look. Um, it has little uh, shoutouts to the different uh, track systems that you can use with this, and of course all the different engines and such that you can use with these play sets. On the other side of the box, you'll see what's included, and there are a lot of pieces there. And of course, a sticker sheet at the bottom there. Here's a look at the top of the packaging. And the bottom. There you can see the legal information, and I paid $19.99 for this set. Alright, now here are the instructions and sticker sheet. You can see there it shows you what's included, how to change the batteries, and how the engine works. There's also this little card that has information about the product that you can call in the service line. And this shows you how to assemble everything and put it together. Here are the back pages. You can see it's a kind of interesting layout there. And of course, more legal information. All right, but now let's take a look at what's included parts-wise. And you can see there is a lot of pieces here. You have the engine, of course, all the different track sections, um, little girders there to hold everything up. A lot of neat stuff. You know, the first thing that's included is this little level crossing. Of course, I've added stickers to it and assembled everything. However, it's a little bit backwards in how it works because the gates go down over the tracks instead of over the roadway. But Chuggington is always kind of backwards on things. It's not the most realistic show, um, so it's not a huge deal, you know. It's not meant to be overly realistic. It's meant to look like Chuggington. There's level crossing. There's the underneath of it. All right, now here is the depot, and this is a very, you know, neat piece of architecture for Chuggington, especially if you've seen the show. This is a main area. This is the depot. You have the different tunnels with the uh, signal lights there. Very cool. Now here's the sign. You can see it's just a facade. It clips into the track on the top, and you have little girders there. Here's the back of it. It's kind of plain on the back, but that's okay. Here's the other side. And then here's a look at the top. You can see the track section there and how that clips into place with the depot. And then here's a look at the bottom. One thing that I will say that disappointed me about this, though, is that the track goes in the middle, but you cannot fit track through the other two sections. And I understand with a set, like, you couldn't do that anyway because there's not enough track, but if you want to set this up with other train sets, you can't do that. You can only feed track in through one of those sections, and that kind of hurts the playability for me, because in the show there is track going into all of these sections. Speaking of the track, though, let's take a look at it. You can see here that it looks just like what you see in the show. It has all the different details there with little uh, middle piece and all the different designs on it. It's interesting. I really like this system, too, uh, where it clips into the girders to help hold it there. And the track is very secure when you put it together. Now, you don't push it together. You actually have to hold it like this and then push down. Um, it is kind of a tight fit on some of these pieces, but that could just be the age of this set because it's from 2021. But here we go very snug. Also included is this adapter, and this is meant to work so that you could use this with um, the previous Chuggington Wooden Railway range. So these, you can see how these pieces come apart, how they connect to Wooden Railway. I will say it is a tight fit though on the Wooden Railway. Now here is Wilson, and you can see that he's actually a pretty detailed character. However, there is nothing really substantial here. It's mostly plastic. There's no metal or anything. However, it is quite weighty. It does have a good bit of weight to it. Um, here's the front. You can see it looks almost like what we see in the show. Um, great details there. Here's the other side again. Great details with paint job. And here's the back. You can see the great door details on the battery cover and, of course, that coupling. I believe that works with the previous um, diecast range. I'm not sure, but I believe it does. And here's the bottom of the engine. You'll see there, of course, there's that little power switch there. And this is four-wheel drive, so all four wheels do move. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to change the battery because I get asked that question a lot on my videos. So I just want to show you how you do it. So you can see here on the back of the engine, there's a silver screw. And you're just going to use a small Phillips head screwdriver for that. And then you're just going to turn and untwist that until the battery cover comes off. And then just a little bit more and then turn it all the way. And then this engine actually uses two AAA batteries. So you can see there when we move the cover, we're just going to set that over to the side, get those batteries replaced, 
and then we can start running Wilson on our layout. And this engine is actually a touch and go engine, so that when you touch the top of the fans, it actually starts the engine. Of course, you have to turn the on switch on first, and when you're not using this engine, make sure to turn that on switch to the off position, because I found it's kind of sensitive, it could start up. Alright, so now that we've turned the switch on, let's start playing with this playset. You will see the adapters left out, don't worry about that. Alright, so to set up play, we're going to go ahead and open these crossing gates there, and then we're going to touch the top of Wilson's fan, and he's going to start running across the layout. He's going to go up the hill there, across through the depot on the top, and then he's going to go down the big hill on the other side. He's going to round the bend, and then he's going to come back in through the depot right there. Of course, if you close the gates, you can take and touch the top of the de uh, Wilson's fan, and then he'll stop again. I think that's pretty cool. It's an interesting one. One thing that I will note is that you, can, uh, you can't really run this in uh, backwards because then that happens, it does tend to derail at the crossing because it's coming out of the curve. Alright, so all in all, what are my final thoughts on this All Aboard starter set? Well, it's an interesting one. Um, honestly, I never expected to review a Chugington item. Like I said, I saw this for a really good price and it intrigued me so I decided to get it. It's not a bad set and I think that's probably the worst part. Um, it's actually a really good set. It's a really good engine. It looks like it has a lot of pulling power to it. Um, it takes the hills very easily. It didn't really give me any trouble uh, in terms of running performance. However, there's not a lot to do with this set. And even looking on the back of the box um, with the other set that was released, it doesn't look like there's a lot to do with that set either. And what I mean by that is there's no rolling stock included with this set or with that set, I believe. So there's nothing really for the engines to do. They run great, and they're really reliable runners, but there's nothing for them to really pull. Now, keep in mind, they do have the same coupling system, I believe, as the diecast range, so if you had had those previously, then you could uh, possibly use those with this range. But in terms of using the stuff that's meant for this range with this range, there's not really anything other than engines available. And so the whole system kind of doesn't work. Um, not saying it's a bad set, I think it's actually quite detailed, um, and it looks like what we see in the show, it looks like the depot in Chuggington, um, it just feels kind of empty, and Chuggington really isn't, you know, you have, you have V, you have the, the different engines, you have different people and stuff, so it feels kind of empty, which I get it, it's a starter set, you want to use this to expand, but there's not really much to buy to help expand it. Now, keep in mind, there might be tons of stuff for this range, and this is all that I know about, and there might be. Um, I, it's actually intrigued me. I want to look up more research about it, see if it was continued. Um, but like I said, yeah, it's not bad. I just, I don't know if it's a great set in terms of because there's not much to do with it. I think if they included, like, one cargo car, you know, just one cargo car and then a statuette of V, I think that would have set the set you know, up for success. It would have been perfect. But right now, it just kind of feels empty uh, with how it is right now. Anyway, guys, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and let me know if you want to see me do more Chuggington reviews, because honestly, this has kind of, kind of opened it up where I want to do more Chuggington reviews. But let me know if that's something you'd be interested, uh, interested in seeing on my channel. Anyway, that's all for now. Have a great day, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.